3-1 win and a red card on a Tuesday night for United. That finishes off their Melbourne leg of the tour. Crystal Palace 1, Manchester United 3. And a really, really solid outing once again. Um, yeah, really happy with the performance. And we'll see some pretty good scores here today. Starting off with De Gea, unfortunately, probably, <laughs> I can't want to give a 5. Probably a 6. I'll give a 6. I can't give a 5. He made some good saves. Decent distribution once again. But I, um, a mistake from De Gea is quite rare. And we saw one today on the goal he conceded. Just straight at him and fumbled through. Uh, yeah, ter terrible keeping there. But, ah, uh, well. Um, Diogo Dallo, I'm going to give a... I'll give a 7. I think he was actually quite good defensively for once. I think he's improved on his defensive side of the game. And once again, his link up with Jaden Sancho is absolutely phenomenal. Lindelof, I'm actually going to give a 5. I don't really like giving low scores, but Lindelof with the shaky center back out the 2 because I'll give Maguire a 7. Um, that's just bullshit how Maguire is 0.5 lower than Lindelof. Uh, that's just straight up an agenda because Maguire was very, very good today. By far the better center back. Victor Lindelof was getting spun left, right, and center. Tyrell, Malasia. Um, oh, uh, what should I give? What should I give? What should I give? I am going to give a seven. A seven, not an eight, a seven. Extremely good for six, 60, 65 minutes. Um, his link up once again with Marcus Rash was good. Um, he was he, at times playing as an attacking midfielder. He was absolutely everywhere, working very hard. And um, he slowly, if he keeps playing like that, could cement himself as our number one choice left back over Luke Shaw because the flair he brings is uh, something something that you don't get very often. Um, Fred, probably a six. Nothing amazing, but quite good in the midfield. McTominay, I'm going to give a five. He was invisible. McTominay's been shit all preseason. It was an invisible game from McTominay. Bruno, probably a six. Um, Sancho, probably a 7, because he scored a goal, and his link-up was amazing. Rashford, probably the same again, I'll go a 7. Martial, probably a 7, and my man of the match. Martial, I'm not going to give it to Maguire or Malasia. Malasia, sorry. I'll go Martial. Um, the, the amount of pressing he does and the work on the ball around the pitch, as well as scoring a goal, 3 goals in 3 matches, Tony Martial is hot, and he's looking very, very good. And that's the thing. If if Ronaldo goes, at least we've got a striker that will press, and that looks in form at the moment. Uh, Donny, probably a 6 when he came on. I wouldn't go as far as a 7. Um, although he was okay. Hannibal, a 6. Tellez, a 6. Zidanek, ball a 6. None of these people really did anything. I'm going to give Amar a 5. I've given him a few 5s this preseason, which I hate doing, but he looks way off the pace. Um, I reckon he will get another low move. <laughs> will Fish, probably a 4. Um, obviously, the first ever time I've done a player ranking for Will Fish, he's never really been in the first team. He might even be the first ever game in the first team. Um, yeah, it's not ideal when you're giving 4s in a preseason game. A red card and quite an average performance giving up giving up the ball a few times in the 10 minutes he was on. Yeah, poor poor outing from Will Fish. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, probably a 7. Um, I th no, no, 7 or 6, but I'm, I'm not sure why I went that high. Uh, 5.4 is a little bit too low, though. I think 6 It's probably fair for Wan-Bissaka. Took a few good things defensively. Um, just average again. Savage, a 6. Alanga, a 6. L Ethan Laird, Laird, um, 6. And Eric Ten Hag, I'm giving 8. I thought he was very, very good today. Eric Ten Hag, he was straight Ten Hag ball, straight Ten Hag ball, rock and roll football, quickly moving it forward, the front three connected so well, um, no more knocking it around the back for f 50 minutes and then counter-attacking in the last 40 because he then a goal, uh, yeah, great, great performance from Ten Hag, submit my vote, Tony Martial is the man of the match, One, uh, is the man of the match today, and I've actually got the same man of the match as the people's man of the match in every Tour game so far. I believe it was Eric Bay, Zidane, Nick Bull, then Anthony Martial. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all not for a watch along because I'll actually be at the game in Perth versus Aston Villa, but a play ratings on.
of the Saturday or Sunday. See you all then. Cheers.